Figure that out. What's up, guys? What's up? I'm here with Lucas, How's and going? somebody requested that we do more slice of life videos. So we're about to do that. We're gonna go get some food. What kind of food are we getting? Chinese food. Yeah, yeah. Chinese food. We got everything we need. We got shoes. I got my skateboard. You got oh, got oh yeah, keys. money. Yeah, key. We got keys to get back in the house. Keys. Money to get the food. Yeah. And shoes. Uh, Oh, do we want like a big, big bowl for the, the rice? Oh, shit, yeah, 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 we always yeah. forget that. Oh, that's perfect. Do your thing, you didn't. So this Chinese place is super close to us. It's like, how far is it, Lucas? Uh, I don't know, like four blocks? Not yeah. Four. It's a walkable distance. Yeah, for sure. Is it like Chinese food you get in the States? It's the same thing, but way cheaper. It's like, uh, I don't know, like two dollars for three pounds of fried rice. <laughs> yeah, it is super cheap. And so this place is cool because it's like Chinese food for locals, not Chinese food for tourists. So it's really cheap. Yeah. It's like the exact same as in the States, but most Chinese food here is kind of fancy. We are Buffet Chang. This is literally if we turn around. I live down that street. Woo. So it's right here, super close. Buffet Chang. Are in Spanish or English? Uh, translate it. Translate it. Yeah. Right. We're open Monday to Saturday from 11 a.m. to 2:30 p.m. And then later on, from 2.30 p.m. to 7 p.m. Oh, there's, oh, it's lunch and dinner. Yeah, 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 they're just stating what times, what is available, yeah. yeah they're yeah, open yeah. the entire time. They're open the whole time. The if for effort, time. though. So I just spent 250 cords, 33 cords to a dollar. So how much is that? Like eight dollars? And you're gonna see in a second what that gets you. Now we're sitting down and we remembered our food container this time. Whenever I come here, I always forget and then you have to pay extra to get a little like disposable, uh, like, you know, what are they called? I don't know, like the faulty container things? Yeah, like a takeout container, yeah. you know, right? So in the US, it's, it's almost always free to get those, but here it's pretty common that you have to pay for it. And it kind of makes sense. I prefer when you have to pay for it because it's just trash, you're gonna throw it away, right? So you try and like come with something you can put the food in so yeah. you don't have to pay for the container that you're just gonna throw away and you don't actually need, right? Yeah, it's true. And so usually it's pretty typical where you have to pay for a to-go container, not always, um, but at this place, that's how it works. And usually the wait's like five or 10 minutes. Something like that, it's yeah. not too bad. Yeah, it's pretty typical. Yeah. Nice. Dude, look how much food we got. Yeah. It's gonna be awesome. All right, you gotta start eating. I have to start eating? Yeah. Oh. 
it's not a food video unless you see people eating and enjoying the food, right? Is that science? Yeah, totally. So, sure. do you, what's the difference between sweet and sour chicken? Mm -hmm. And General Tso's. I think General Tso's it gets a little pepper next to it usually. Yeah, the little red peppers? Yeah. Because this to me looks like General Tso's, except it doesn't have their. I also don't know if sweet and sour and pollo agro dulce is. Agro dulce. That's that, that's sweet and sour. Sour and sweet. Yeah. Yeah, but these are all off in the opposite order anyway. Mm -hmm. But then there's agro picante, which is just sweet and sour and a tiny bit of spice. So, like. Mm -hmm. Nice. Is it doing a thing? Mm -hmm. Nice. Awesome. Cool. I'm so proud that we actually remembered the container. I think I've been to this place, like, maybe 10 times, and I've never actually remembered to bring a container for the extras. Although I don't know how many extras we're gonna have. I feel pretty hungry, and I think you are too. Yeah, I can definitely crush a lot of food. I love this stuff. Yeah, it's good. You know, Camila doesn't actually like, like anything that's like a sweet sauce and meat. She doesn't like that flavor. Why not? I don't know, it's like a predictable thing. Just for reference, now you know. Good to, now I know? I'll remember, yeah. that's information I'll remember. <laughs> that's important, right? Yeah. But for you guys listening, there's gonna be more videos like this showing like the actual people and what I'm doing, trying to do more like, this is what life looks like here. There's like little snippets of it. So I was just talking about Camila, she's one of the people we live with. Uh, she's really awesome and really charismatic and is really good on video and has a lot of energy. So we're definitely gonna do more work together and that kind of stuff. So, yeah. Oh yeah, I gotta actually eat it. You gotta eat, man. It's not a food video otherwise. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now that I eat it, I don't think it's General Tso's. Yeah, it's sweet it and sour. It definitely is that sweet and sour stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's sweet and sour. I guess I'm just used to the... It is a sweet and sour chicken, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm it's used still to chicken. It being more <laughs> Like deep fried, you know what I mean? Okay. Less saucy. I don't know though. It was definitely sweet and sour. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, that was nice. How's your food? I'm gonna feed you home. <laughs> yeah, I want a nap too. Yeah. Oh man, a nap sounds good. Right? Yeah, nap on a Tonya. <laughs> Tonya is one of the beers here. Yeah, Tony is the one beer here. It's amazing. <laughs> There's Classico. Team, to no, Classico. <laughs> team Tony. Yeah. <laughs> There's like two main beers. Tonya and Classico. And so people usually have a preference of one versus the other. But I haven't done a video about that. That's definitely its own video. Team Tonya. Yeah, because you can get Tonya and Classico like anywhere in the country. If, like, if you're in Nicaragua, you can probably find these beers. They are everywhere, even in like the really rural places. So it definitely would be, it's worth making a video about. Because if you visit, you're going to see them. You're going to see marketing. You're going to see people drinking to them. You're going to see people refer to beer as Tonyas. What kind of Tonya is that? Oh, it's Bud Light. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. If you want any more videos like this, comment. And if you want to do any kind of consulting with me, you can always book time with me on Calendly. I have two options. You can talk to me privately. It costs $20 for a 30-minute conversation. We will talk about anything. You can pick my brain. You can have me teach you something in particular, whatever you want. Or if you want a public option, if you want to talk about Nicaragua or whatever, then let me record the video and it's completely free and we can schedule it whenever you want. Just go to the Calendly link. That's calendly.com slash Jack Dermot Pittman. And then click on that and then book some time. Alright guys, thanks for watching. See you next time. Ciao!